So today I'll be unboxing a product that while I didn't buy it, I actually bought one about six months ago for my parents. And the reason I bought it is because it's kind of a unique product. So this is the Logitech Cordless Media Board Pro for PlayStation 3, although you are not actually limited to using it with the PlayStation 3. They're actually using it for their Media Center PC. And I'll explain how they're doing that in a minute, but why don't we go through what Logitech says about it on the box. First of all, they say it is a keyboard. Second of all, they say it is with Bluetooth wireless technology. So it does use a Bluetooth interface. There are no cords, you just put in a battery and off you go. Cordless media keys and it has a touchpad and scroll bar. So you can see right here that it actually has a mouse or like a touchpad built into the keyboard. It's slim, okay. And then we go around to the back and we find that it works up to 30 feet from your PlayStation 3. It has an integrated touchpad, offers an easy way to enter text and type messages on the PlayStation 3 or a computer. <clears throat> it is perfect for the PlayStation network. It is lightweight, perfect for living room use, and it has quick media keys, give instant access to media control panel, movie menus, and more. So I will be opening the seals with my ruler knife which actually belongs to the cameraman, not to me at all, but I was like, oh, I have no knife. But the difference is that I thought of it before we started filming today, so the cameraman gave me something to use. Okay, so inside we will find um, a blank white area surrounded by black and green. When we remove that, we will find a keyboard. Okay, so it's held in by a couple pieces of foam right here, so you can see it's actually quite well secured, even without the top uh, half of the box on it. So we can just go ahead and pull this out, and let's see what we've got in terms of manuals and accessories. Like, no accessories, just a manual. So let's open this up. Got a part number sticker on it. Okay, that's helpful. Okay, important information. Let's start with this. It's in Portuguese and French. And English, yes, English. So, uh, duration of implied warranties, national statutory rights, the Logitech address, battery warning. Follow the battery's instructions as well as these important safety tips. Okay, so mostly safety. So safety is important, thank you Logitech. Next, we have the installation manual for the cordless media board pro. And I have to confess, I did end up needing this when I installed this for my parents. Um, so you put in the batteries, that's pretty straightforward, you turn the keyboard on by sliding the on off switch. That is not the step that I got stuck on. I was not stuck on that step. Um, then you adjust the keyboard feet for comfort if required. Also not where I got stuck. <clears throat> Next, you use the media keys and then you, oh whatever, come on, where's the step that I got stuck on? Oh yeah, right, 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 right here, okay. So how you actually register the keyboard with your, with your Bluetooth adapter when pairing. So you actually need to enter, um, wow, they don't actually say. Maybe they've changed the procedure, but I had to enter a password in order to get it to sync with the Bluetooth dongle that was connected to the computer. So that's the part that I found challenging because this keyboard was actually the first time I had ever used Bluetooth for anything. I'm not a phone guy and I tend to stick with wired for all of my peripherals, so that's, that's what I was using. Okay, so the Media Board Pro. It's a very comfortable keyboard, actually. You can easily sit, and I'm going to get the cameraman to move for a little bit, but you can easily sit on the couch and hold it in your lap. It's very, very comfortable in this kind of a position because it's so lightweight and so thin. So you just kind of hold it where you're sitting, wherever you happen to be sitting. And then here, let's have a look here. So in terms of media keys, you got a menu key, back, play, forward, and Blu-ray DVD menu. Uh, these all work on PC, but I'm not sure what this one does in that context. Logitech's put a very glossy finish on this particular keyboard. It does make it a bit of a fingerprint magnet, but it's not the worst I've seen by a long shot. Keyboard is very, as I said, comfortable, and the layout is very, very standard. Uh, so you have a full-size backspace, shift, enter, and other shift. They haven't done anything particularly stupid, but one thing that you might notice is that there's no Windows key. So these are actually right and left click. So you can use, you have a couple of different options. You can either use the keyboard like this, back out cameraman, so with your right finger on the touchpad and these are your right and left click over here, or you can use it like you would use a laptop with your left finger on the touchpad or vice versa, and you can use the right and left click over here. Power button switch rather is over here. 
So just slide that into the position that you require it to be in. And then on the bottom, you will find the structural bracing. And this also allows it to be a little bit lighter because they haven't just filled the whole thing in with plastic. And then the battery slots. Here are the little adjustable feet that the, I assure you, this is not the part that I got stuck on when I was installing this. And then, so the thing that is missing if you're using this with a computer is a Bluetooth dongle because it's designed for the PlayStation 3, which has built in Bluetooth. It does not include one. So that means that you'll need to buy, I mean, you can get them for as cheap as like five, 10 bucks. So you just grab any Bluetooth dongle, a generic one, and then you can actually pair it to the keyboard. It takes probably about five minutes. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Cordless Media Board Pro.